This life is so deep. Pray for yeah. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hard, bro. <laughs> special guest sunny blue what's good bro man what's popping bro how you doing chilling bro. how you doing man i'm blessed man howly favor man just got in for the night you know what i'm saying it's just been a lot going on just getting uh getting all these uh mix downs and everything together you know for this album drop bro you know just working working like crazy i see you doing your thing um it's busy so so for the people on my platform that don't know, you could tell them yep. um, how Sunny Blue got started and how you got to where you are now. Man, it's a long journey, man. It's in, in such a short time, but uh, Sunny Blue, man, is from a real place, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I'm from the south side of Louisville. Um, man, when I was young, I always been an entertainer, entrepreneur my whole life. You know, it's the street life, you know, get the best of you. But <clears throat> I made a song called Feeling Myself when I was like <clears throat> 22 years old. It went crazy, got regional success. You know, I toured off of it. I got signed. I was on tour with the likeness of uh, MGK, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Tech Nine, the whole strange music. Uh, man, Sonny just been grinding, bro. I've been the underdog my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And uh and that's what I do. So when Sonny was birthed, it's just it's the silver lining, man. It's the uh it's the sil silver lining of the underdog, man. It's like the soundtrack of the underdog, man. So I understand all the pain, all the trials and tribulations that you might be going through. Sonny Blue, man, he been through it just like you have, so you know. I'm just able to transform that energy into music, you know what I'm saying? Right, super fire. Once again, this is legendary. And um, growing up, who'd you listen to? Man, it, it was a plethora, bro. Like, uh, honestly, I had so many different musical uh, musical genres, bro, that, that that was actually influencing me growing up. I've always just been, it don't matter if you beating on a, a beating on a pot, bro, beating on a pan, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. We gonna come up with something like it's always been music in my life. My dad was a singer growing up, so you know I was exposed to uh, to just hitting notes, singing, rapping. <clears throat> so really, honestly, man, I really have it's just music in general. So from rock music to rap music to R and B to blues, you know I've just been a part of. You know I, I've kind of had my ear on everything, so. But yeah, I would have to say, man, you got the likeness of like Michael Jackson. You got the likeness of, you know what I mean, um, DMX, Jay Z to Queen. You know what I'm saying? To mm -hmm. it's just all over the place, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, man, it's crazy, bro. Just like growing up, wrestlers. You know the music they come out to. You know what I'm saying? They 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 uh theme music when they coming out. So it's just a lot, man. You know, I'm not really the guy to just be like, yo, it was this hard. It was this track or this, this, this or that. Like, I kind of, you know, I took on the likeness of everything. So that's why I'm at with it. And that's good. You could tell with your style because um, every track that you, you get on, it's like that message, is, it hit different. Man, I appreciate you, man. I seen you the, I seen you the other day, bro. It, that pressure was hitting you, huh? Yeah, that shit fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's your fire. I want to tell you a little secret, man. I don't know if you know or not, but you know, in the song, you hear that pressure, mm -hmm. it'll get better. That right there, that's my pop mm -hmm. singing. It. My dad died last, my dad died uh, uh, April 2022, bro. So, before like six months before he died, I took him to the studio with me and we uh, 
we did two tracks. One is Pressure that already is out on all streaming platforms, YouTube. It's at like 60,000 right now just on YouTube. Uh, but I got another song that's dropping whenever I um, when I put out my album, man, March 1st. Super fire. Sorry about your pop too. Man, man. He's a legendary, he was a legendary dude, bro. He was a G, man. He was my hero. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he really taught me, you know what I mean? You can come from certain circumstances, but you can make a better way. You know what I'm saying? You can hold shit down. So that's what he did for me. And uh, I'm just carrying the baton, bro. Yeah, that, that video, that wreck is crazy. Yeah, it hits you. You got to sit down because it ain't one of them songs you just going to, everybody just, you know, going to spit out. Like, it's 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 one of them gems, bro, that's going to catch you. When it catch you, it's going to do what it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, pre- I appreciate, man, you liking the artistry. But, you know, I was a trap rapper growing up. I made a song called Feeling Myself. It was one of the biggest songs, you know, that still to this day is played on the radio. Shout out to uh, DJ Empty Beast at B96. Shout out to DJ Q at B96. Shout out to uh, DJ Lil Carl, which is my cousin, and he's like the true underground DJ of Louisville, man. And uh, they just kept me alive all these years. You know what I'm saying? With all my other endeavors, with me owning companies, with me owning restaurants, you know what I'm saying? With me, you know, real estate, you know, I kind of left music. I got I got music hurt for a while. You know what I mean? And uh, my dad, before he passed away, he was like, son, you don't want to make no music no more? I'm like, nah, bro, I'm straight. He's like, nah, bro, get with your producer friends. You know how old, oh, geez, get with your producer friends, you know, go to the studio, <laughs> bro. Come up with, I'm like, so I went. That night I made two songs, and uh, I came back home. I was like, Pops, you know, I can't even imagine nobody to feature with, but I was like, man, how about you get on a song with me? I said, you ain't got to write nothing. You ain't got to do I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. All you got to do is just bring that voice, and that's what he did, bro. That's what he did, bro. So, you know, I know it's inspiration, especially coming from places like like where we come from, where dad might not be in the picture or y'all might not have had a beautiful relationship like me, but I'm sharing that love that way. Like a brother like you who may have children. I don't know if you have children yet, but yet. <clears throat> they coming. <laughs> and they, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this will inspire you to capture those moments, capture those, 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 you know, emotions because, uh, once they gone, bro, you can't get them back. Can't get them right. back. You know, that's just showing you, bro. You know what I'm saying? This life is so deep, pray for. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hard, bro. <laughs> that's third, but man, yeah. Yeah, man, so that's really what it is. My musical, now I'm going to go back. My musical inspiration came from my father, bro. Yeah. So without him, I wouldn't be making music. I wouldn't know how to do nothing, bro. Perform, none of that. I'll be just a regular street nigga like everybody else. Or maybe not. I might be a doctor or something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he is. he's seen the gift in me. And he knew that was my happy place. And, uh before he went man he made sure to tell me hey bro get back to what you what makes you happy get back to what makes your heart feel so that's what i'm on i gotta ask this did you write that or you freestyled yeah. that I, nah i wrote i write i write all my music look right now bro i'm in my bins i'm in my s550 bins right now and uh i normally write all my music in here uh you know what I'm saying? The speakers are amazing. <laughs> Plus, I'm riding this like a boss, you feel me? And, uh, you know, I'm able to have that process and that thought. But I've been doing music my whole life, so features, you know, anything of that sort of nature, writing for people. You know, I wrote for, for Nappy Roots when I was younger. Uh, they're a hip-hop artist out of Louisville. Uh, I've wrote a lot of R&B songs growing up. Uh, I've done a lot, man. I've I've been a part of a lot of movements. I've been a part of a lot of amazing things, you know. So, bro, when it comes to that music, bro, it's 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 just in me, man. It ain't on me. It's in me, bro. Sure. Facts. How'd you feel like after that studio session, and then like after it was mastered? Man, look, bro, 
if you scroll all the way down to my Instagram, all the way down to the bottom, my first post, you'll see my daddy in the studio singing pressure. Okay. It'll get better. That he's doing all that in there. And uh let me tell you, bro, now that I'm able to like my whole beginning process, shout out to Stacks, my engineer, that you hear how crispy and how well rounded the song is. Shout out to Stacks, man, shout out to uh Des Pills, man, Desmond Pills. He does all my uh videography, he does all my camera work. I got like a little team that I actually, you know, we cre- we curated together and uh, shout out to everybody who helps me, but my manager, Juice. But anyway, so, you know, that moment, man, I didn't really know because I didn't know my daddy was going to be gone. So at that moment, bro, we was just having a good ass time. We was just making music, bro. We was just doing what we do. You feel me? And, you know, uh, but now or, you know, that's. That's a song that I'm able to share with my family, bro. I'm able to share that with the ones that that love my father, and uh, it's it's constantly played, bro. I can't go nowhere. Uh, they don't play that song. They don't play my they don't play my music in general at this moment. But you know, nah, it's a, it's serious, man. I'm a real I'm a real writer, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real writer, and I take it I take that penmanship serious. I don't just get on that microphone and say anything. I want that shit to feel. I want you to feel that shit. I want you to, you know, we got so many different artists now and they just, they all chasing that same guy. They all chasing that same job, that same dude. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I understand people, people don't, people probably won't, they probably hear me, but it's new and it's different. So they're going to look at it like, Man, he's hard, bro, but, you know, they ears are not curated for my type of music at the moment. But I'm telling you, when it goes and it blows, it's going to be the biggest shit that you've ever seen in your life. It's up, yo. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> like, we know, bro, we in this line of work, bro. You know how it is, bro. Everybody sound the same. Everybody look the same. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, want the same. Not me, bro. Like, I'm a... I'm a I'm a man that love my girl. I'm a man that love my kids. I you know I, I try to stay firm. You know what I'm saying on on just morals and principles of a boss, of a man, of a of a father figure, of a figure in general. Because you know a lot of us didn't have that, bro. So I attack goals, bro. I attack you know what I'm saying dreams and aspirations, but still hold it down as a father. You know what I'm saying hold it down as a, as a man. So yeah, yeah. I'm the transition for all. the you know, all the all the niggas that still wanna be out here playing. <laughs> mm-hmm. <I'm... laughs> and I'm young, you know, I'm a young OG. How old are you? I can't tell you that, but I'm a young OG. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> now nah, I'm in my that's... early thirties, bro. I'm in my early thirties. Okay. Yeah, you look yeah. about I'm thirty one. Yeah, look yeah, about yeah. twenty nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Black don't crack. You just seen Usher on 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 the Super Bowl, bro. Looked like he was twenty five. He mm-hmm. pushed it. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy. Right, right, right. You be all right. Right, and another uh, records of yours that I uh, like is uh, Feelings. That wow, was crazy too. bro! You <laughs> deep in the car. You deep in the yeah. Hey, I want to give you some love real quick, bro. Shout out Amen. to my guy right now, bro. Shout out to Rome, bro. Bro, really, really tapped in with me, and I appreciate that. I'm happy I took this this moment in time to be with you, Rome. And this is the beginning, bro. Uh, yeah, feelings, man. I'm gonna get these racks up for my son and my daughter, cause that's that's just what it is. Like, tell, be honest, Rome. Mm-hmm. Who else making music like that, Ron? They called me. That's why I called me. I heard that. I'm like, this shit is fire, yo. <laughs> you see my mom's in the video? Did you watch the video? She watched it a few times. Uh, my mom's in the video. My son in the video. That's my restaurant behind me, bro. That's what that's. I built that from nothing. We started in a 10 by 10 shack, like the same size of this Benz. And we turned it into a multi dollar restaurant bro we've been on the food network channel you know what i'm saying you type sunny blue you type baby backs b-a-b-i-e-b-a-c-z you'll see my lineage bro i did that for 10 years me my mom and pops we started that shit i came back from doing 
the music, I was music hurt because I was a star and I didn't like the way that the music was going. It wasn't the, the, the music industry was going. It wasn't really for a person like me. And I came back home and I just, I erased all my, my social medias, all my YouTubes at the time. I mean, I'm, you know, back in 2016, I mean, I'm sitting at like 60, 70, 80,000 on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my my YouTube doing hundreds of thousands of views back then before, you know, the quote unquote, you know, standard. So like I erased all that, man. I, I, I came back home, bro. You know, my son, that same boy right there, I uh uh I found out that the woman was pregnant with my son. So my uh my story is deep, bro. I can't give you everything, but uh so whenever I, I came back home I started Baby Backs, man, and we blew up. I used the same hustle as I used on this music. I same hustle, bro. You know, it's hard to sell somebody a CD or a song. It's mm -hmm. hard. So to be able to use, you know, your your marketing uh, abilities and and just that uh, and have that 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 pizzazz and being able to uh, not persuade but just have that confidence. You know what I'm saying? To be able to stand in front of 5,000 people and, and sang a song that they never heard before, you know, and, and, and be able to win them over, you know, it takes a lot. So I used that same hustle that I was doing across the United States, man. I brought it back home, bro. And, uh, I hit that phone. Hey, yo, it's your boy, Dwayne Payne, man, baby back. And I, and I, from that phone, millions and millions and millions of views later, I'm on the Food Network channel. You know what I'm saying? And we ran that we ran that thing. We ran that play for like eight and a half, nine years. And then I shut it down when my dad passed away. And I picked up the microphone. Super fine. So now you're gonna do the same thing, but new journey. Man, come on now. Mm -hmm. You know, my, when my when my pops when my pops passed away, when he took his last breath, and I looked I looked at him when he took his last breath. And I and I closed his eyes, eyelids. But when I looked at him, you know, I knew he died with regret. I knew he died with regret. I knew that God gave God gives you individual talents. You feel me? Like what you're doing right now.